Hi everybody, welcome to an episode on power cuts and survival options. As the title suggests, imagine most people in the UK have experienced sometime in their life a power cut or outage. My aim isn't to go in depth. A review as such, a must have, how to, or even lightweight ideas for backpackers, hikers, or campers, etc. There's plenty of reviews on the net. Let's get you started out of the starting blocks as quickly as I can. I hope keeping the content simple, not complicated, and as you can imagine, you can make a decision. If you come to this video, the item or items should help you, I hope. As always, Brian, stop faffing on and let's get into it. Well, afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a an episode, and this is going to be part two on power coat survival options. And it is all about heating. I'll put you in a picture of the history why it was important for me to improve the heating or improve the flower pot heater that will become on will come on to so guys and girls without faffing on let's improve the concept <laughs> As I mentioned, the best way is starting from the bottom upwards. As you can probably see now, my base in the outhouse is actually a 10 mil oven steel. I got it for making pizzas. So imagine you don't want to ruin any furniture yeah so what I'll do any any towel or blanket yeah on the furniture forget about this deal for now because it is heavy so the next part I found is then barbecue or the Great bacon trays. Yeah. What are we going to light it with? And you will be able to choose what type of fuel you are using. These tail lights. Yeah. And for the demonstration, I'm going to do probably use about six of them. Next is a small flower pot. As you know, the light will need oxygen. So to to keep the the flames alight. So to raise the flower pot heater up. So to raise the heater above, what I'm going to use these little ramekins or whatever. You could actually use 
cups, so small cups. Yep. I'm, I'm using three of them at the moment. And what we need to do is try and balance a small ceramic or terracotta flower pot underneath. There you go. So it fits. I'm using a lighter and let the tea lights get established. So the flames are established. Yep. Check your lights in, inside and what a little handy little bit of kit is temperature probe, probe. checking the heat of the flower pot but eventually uh, most important is the room temperature at the beginning and now in comes the big one flower pot so slowly I'll put it on and as you can imagine from inside on the small flower pot that will be heating up so we need to block this drainage hole and keep the heat from the first one I'm going to use an ash, ash, ash pan from my Lixada wood stove. Then guys, it's all about coming back to check. So what I'm going to do now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to take this into the sitting room and we'll set up. I always wanted to say this, it's all about location, location, location. The tip is, work out which area you are going to heat, i.e. a sitting room or a work area that you are going to work on or work in. So, for me, it's going to be the sitting room. Well guys and girls, just a quick one. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, as time goes on during the day and the power cut is still on without solar to charge this light or lamp and mobiles, iPads etc. I use my car charge them. Just a little tip there. Okay, Kogi. Here go guys and guys and girls. I'm going to set up for the flower pot heater. <laughs> Before I light it, I'm going to check the temperature. I hope you can see it. 60. At this stage, ladies and gentlemen, I will make sure that the tail lights have been established before I carry on. Straight away that the tea lights are actually starting to heat up the flower pot. So what I'll do is put the big one on top, make sure that lights are on and I will check back about an hour to check out the temperature. Using the ash tray from my Lixerda wood stove. I'm going to block it and I will catch you in about an hour.
guys it's been a over an hour I hope you can see that not a small difference but it is a difference well guys at this stage I could wait another hour one hour later What I noticed the first time I put the tail lights together, a couple of them in the middle went out. So what I've done is spaced them away from each other. Yeah, I think the two, the wicks went floppy in the, into the solution. That's another tip for you okie okay, well guys and girls I hope this has been uh, useful for you but the last thing I need to mention will be a morale booster Ooh. hot water bottle of oh. course toasty also listen to music board games or or cards is a, a massive morale booster instead of going back and forth on different designs better to perfect one and then in time experiment on the others it takes me back to the terracotta flower pot experiment I think I've milked this flower pot episode and the findings are quite good. Part one and even part two until now. 
I've increased the tea lights as you can probably notice I'm doing the experiment experiment in my outhouse not the sitting room I think it's absolutely great Keep safe and I'll catch you next one.